All right, guys, remember to mayhem. All right, what do you want me to do? Slow down a little. All right. Dolphin right into that rib. All right, guys, yeah, I was undoing a tangle, and then a dumb dolphin grabbed my line. It might be off. All right, guys, came out of Stewart today. I'm glad. I'm sure you guys are glad to see us on a boat instead of hunting. Yes. I mean, us too. Trust me, we tried to fish like ten times and didn't catch a fish. Literally six times. A lot of times. A lot of times. Been putting in our time on the water, that's for sure. Yeah. Woo. But hooked up on a fish finally, and we've been out here for quite a few hours now, like five hours, four or five hours. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Was filming another video, but we have a lot of epic content coming to y'all real soon here. And uh, it's a really sporty out here today. The weatherman was wrong. Yeah, a little windier than we thought. Big one jumped. All right, so we had a little bit of a mess. So just big ones and so, small. So we just faced the boat downstream. All right, I got the, fixed it up. I got leave the planer it. out here. I'll just leave it. Put the boat in gear. Okay. All right, he's right. He's coming. Okay, planer. Oh, he's jumping. He's far back. Up. Right there. You see him? Okay. He's not yeah. that big. No, all right. So whatever it's you want to do to pick them up. It's a nice fish, though. It's not a, it's not a baby. Keep that line tight. It's tight. Got to keep the line tight. Jars going to yell at me. All right, I'm going to banana. Which way? Towards here. It's here. Wait, GoPro. All right, he's coming right to us, baby. He's coming right to us. Oh, my God. It's gaffer or flip? I don't even know. Put him in the net. You, wanna get, you got the net now. She's netting my. You better get him. Bring him into the net. He might be a net. He might be a, more of a gaffer, but whatever. Yeah. Got him. Woo! Yes! <laughs> we got a fish in the boat! Got a fish in the boat. Yeah, baby. That's a nice one. It's not a bad one. Nice gaffer. Beautiful fish. Freaking works. Ate the strip on the long line. Put out a double hook rig back there with the ma with the bonita strip. Or actually, it's a mahi belly strip that I made myself. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. sweet. It worked. Stop it. All right, so I guess it's time to get back on the troll here. It means there's fish around. Gorgeous mahi mahi, dorado, nice. dolphin fish, whatever the heck you want to call them. We saw that nice fish were being caught this time of the year on the fish angler app, and people were posting. All right, guys, sorry about that. The battery just died while I was in mid talking. But again, we were looking on the fish angler app and a lot of folks were posting really nice ma mahi this time of the year. And we have a fall migration of bigger fish that run through our area this time of the year. And they are going down back down to the south basically because it's getting cold up north. So beautiful fish. Let's get lines back right back out. But check out the fish angler out down in the description below. Totally free. Download it and you're going to learn to catch more fish too. Let's get them in the fish box. All right, guys, I just want to tell you what happened there and what we were using. Uh, I, I recently switched up my way, way back from usually this thing, which is like a billy bait, billy uh, bait. mini turbo or whatever. And of course, Palm Beach Trollers put the big bait out there. So I started doing that. Um, and so I've got an island, a red and, white, red and black Islander with some Mylar on it. And just, you know, one of our lovely uh, the strips that Darcy makes. That was actually a Mahi strip on a two hook rig. Here's the B-roll, of course, so you can see it. So that was way, way back, which means it's down the middle, really far back, really as far as you can do it, uh, depending on how much seaweed is out there. So that's what caught the fish. But I also wanted to show you this. I'm just going to bring this up real quick. Again, you know, you see these on the channel all the time, and we absolutely love them. And so we hit this extra. We just lost the other one. It got cut off or whatever. But that seems to be, there's a mahi biting on it. And again, we catch a ton of fish on here, which you've seen on the show. Anyway, here's how you rig it. Here's the, the, how it comes in the package. And basically, I got some 40, 40, 40, 40. 40 pound fluoro, which I, I buy by the 500 yard spool on Amazon. Best, just to go to prices anywhere else. And then you put it, just put it through, the, through there. And then I'm gonna put a bead on there. The bead is really just to protect the uh, knot, which I'm about to make. And also you can use beads as spacers. So you can, you know, so your hook is in the right spot. Are we getting a fish? No. Oh, a lot of you guys asked me in the last video, why do I have those wristbands here while he's tying that knot? Oh. It's because they don't fit on my wrist. They're giant wristbands for my hair, or actually hair bands for my hair, oh. and my very thick hair. All right, so I got a bead on there. Don't get tight to my hook. You could use a, a polymer knot would be awesome, but I usually just use a three-turn uni, which is not a lot of turns. And it's a little windy out today, but you want your hook, the bend in your hook, this right here, this bend to be at the bottom of your feathers or your skirt. 
All right, so you see that? That's right on the end. That's about perfect. <laughs> Get him, Sizzle. We gotta fight. That's the fish. That's the fish. Stay on. Hold on. Look at that amberjack. He's running. See, so he was running? Yeah. Okay, I got time to put my other glove on then. Does he just get eight? I hope not. I can't stop him. I think he just got eight. <sighs> got eight. We'll never know what it was. <sighs> All day to get that solid quality bite. Freaking got the fish up. Freaking saw the fish right here, down deep turned around and started smoking it straight back down to the bottom and I think a shark got it. I couldn't stop it. I pushed the drag all the way up. Couldn't stop it. So time to re-rig. Oh. Damn it. No, it was a quality fish. You think? When I felt it bite, it just took it. Yeah. And just, I couldn't stop it. Like it was running and running and running and then it was felt like it was digging like a big snapper or grouper. And then I finally got it up and it started coming up. And then that shock leader came up and the fish saw the boat and just went straight back down and then that's when I couldn't stop it. I knew the shark ate it. Start to it like a snapper. Yellowtail, yellowtail. Please be, it's a yellowtail. You called it. Is it? Yellowtail on the boat. Nice. <laughs> Brian called it. <laughs> so it was colorful. And he's a keeper. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Another fish in the boat. Yellowtail is really delicious. One of my, one of Papa's favorites. Yes. All right, so I'll tell you what gear we're using real quick. We gotta do a whole mutton how-to video, but uh, the standard reel you're gonna use is a, what you call a power reel, maybe a jigging reel. Pretty standard. I got a brand new one. This is the Torium 20 PG from Shimano. This is kind of the standard uh, bottom fishing reel. Darcy has a Maxell uh, fishing reel. Which is really almost the same, almost the same reel. Kind of that system, the 16? Ocean Max 10. Ocean Max I'm sorry, 10. Ocean Max 08. Ocean Max 08, and again, it has a nice power grip handle, and it has like a power ratio, which means in the high fours, 4.8 to one, five to one, a lot of that is personal preference. And then I got, we got 50 pound braid on them, and then we got like a shock leader of like 40 pound uh, fluoro down to our rig. We're not gonna get into the rig right now, but I got a nice, uh, some B-roll of it, or a picture here. Basically a sliding weight on a swivel to a very, very long leader and, and a breakaway weight slides on the uh, on your leader there. And the yeah. reason you use long, you always get questions. We so always long. see it on social media. 40 foot leader? Why isn't that the long leader? What? Because big fish are smart, dude. Uh, anytime you're not getting a bite, you want to lengthen your leader or make your leader thinner or make you, your hook smaller. Yeah. You so. want that bait as far away as possible from that weight. Yeah. That snapper fishing. and those grouper, they see that and they're smart. Yeah. like. Red, red snapper and, and grouper and some other fish are dumb as hell, okay? But big fat muttons are not. So you gotta use a really long leader, long as you can handle. If you're a complete Guggen or a novice, you can't handle that long of a leader. You're gonna go 15 Don't feet. Don't do it. But if you anchor it up in a good current, you can do 75 feet leader. Yeah. And you know, different, you know, every day out here is a different day. About earlier this, earlier this winter or this year, Brian hooked a 10 pound, actually a 12 pound mutton snapper and it was about a 10 foot leader we were using. So yeah, it, just it was actually a 50 pound Andy Pink Mono. It wasn't even Floro. It was a very short leader though. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. For a big, big mutton to eat that. But they're biting, they're biting, but you know, here in South Florida, you know, there's a lot of pressure. And so, you know, you gotta tackle down. It's not, it's not 80, mi 80 miles out in the Gulf on some structure your uncle found in 1942 and you're holding up red snappers on a 150 pound leader with just three foot tall, long and big old kinks in it. I mean, yeah. that's not what it is. Yeah. <laughs> And you guys know what I'm talking about. That always amazes me. It's not a rig in Louisiana. This is a heavily populated fishing spot. In 80 feet of water where everyone in the grandma can come out here. So I got 30 pound leader, we usually use 40. Darcy's using 40. Yeah. And it's blowing out here. Care yeah. lies. It's blowing 20 in our face right now at the north. 20 in my face. Real Randall. Real. Ryan, get ready. I'm ready. We got our nice one on now. Hopefully, we can get him up. We gotta get him up. Shizzle got him up. Get him up, Shizzle. Get him up. Talk it up. You wanna talk it up? No. He's very busy. He's very busy right now. 
<sighs> nice job, Susan. Nice job. Brian, come on. I got another line. It's probably mine. It's no big deal. What the is it? Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Yeah, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him up. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Brian, did you film that showing them go, that grunt go down? No. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I wish I could teach you guys a trick, but we don't have it filmed. Heck yeah! Heck yes! So, the whole success to this was let me get this beautiful fish up. All right, y'all. So, this is what happened. I don't have a lot of bait today. I only have a few live fish with us, um, some mullet and some other bait fish that we're not sure of what they are, but look at that beautiful fish. I'm gonna say that's a solid seven, eight pound mutton snapper right there. Totally just huge and fat. But I had a bait out on the bottom, a dead bait, dead sardine, and I ended up catching a very small grunt, about like a four inch grunt, five inch grunt. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna send this right back down. He was hooked on my circle hook. And I told Brian, I'm going to send him right back down. We didn't film it because it was such a little fish. Put it back down. Within two minutes of dropping that bait to the bottom, this mutton snapper crushed it. And grunts are actually a great bait for grouper. And that's what I was looking for. I was hoping to get a grouper bite. But I got a stud mutton snapper bite. Look how pretty he is. Look how white he is. So pale and pretty. Yeah. And I forget what that means. I always forget. But the, like, the darker ones live on a different area of the ocean compared to these pale guys. Yeah. And I think this pale one might live in the sand, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll find out I think more. That's the gist of it. But he is super pretty. Man, that is a fish of the day. I'm just still upset about the one I lost. But you know what? I'm also just blessed that the fish god sent us a fish today. And I'm also going to thank my dad. Thanks, dad. This is it. I was able to manage to get this choked fish out of that throat of that mutton snapper. This is the grunt that I had just caught and sent it right back down alive. I snipped his tail just a little bit and sent him down. And like I said, within two minutes, he got destroyed. So he's dead now, but I'm gonna use him again. Why not? Dead bait works just as good as live bait. But this time, I'm gonna remove the tail completely so that way he doesn't helicopter on the way down because it's now a dead bait, it's not a live bait. He's not swimming, he's not doing his thing down there, so I don't want him to helicopter and twist my line up. So we're gonna fish this and see what happens, y'all. We're reset for the next drift. Wish me luck, let's go. Come on, baby. Do we, are we hitting that number or we're not moving? No, we're not near it. I mean, we're heading towards it, but we're not like on it or anything. Oh, I just felt a nice thumb. Pulls accusations. Here we go in. It's hitting it again. Come on. Let's go. Tell the fish to let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. He just dumped it again. Oh. Just eat it, dude. Oh. Where's it mine instead? Oh. You there? You there? Yes. Yeah. All right, we got something on. Fish on. The bait that gives back twice. You use the bait alive, and then you use the bait dead. And catch fish. I'm hoping for another yellowtail. Man, the grunt is where it's at. That was just a dead piece of fish that time. It was the same grunt. It's just the crazy part. Fish him alive and then fish him dead. Whoa! Get him up, get him up! Here we go. Woo! Hot hand, oh, who's got dang. the hot hand? Heck yeah! Woo, woo! Another nice Boy. fish, another nice fish! Let's go. <laughs> We're staying out all day. No. <laughs> you hear that, guys? I get so excited about fishing, and I want to keep going and going, and he's like the complete opposite. No, what are you, crazy? Unfortunately, we can't. Yeah, though. I tried to tell you, it takes this an hour to get to the ramp, and an hour to get home, and then we have to put up a video okay. after an hour, and then we have a call with a very important sponsor, and then we have to go fishing at 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Whoa. Anyhow, 
Oh, he just doubled over. Oh, get that fish, get that fish. Oh, we got another one on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, Sizzle. Damn it. Papa brings him a fish. Come on, come on, woman. Leader goes back in the water. Sorry. Back in the water. Come up to the boat. Woo. He ate that? I guess it was a chunk of them. Gonna, be, gonna close be close to a keeper. All right, now there's Smut and Snapper in the boat. Whoop, whoop. Doubled just like that. But yeah, unfortunately, with, jo with fishing being our job, it's a blessing and a curse because I can't stay out here and fish all day, like, because I want to so bad. But at the same time, we gotta go home and edit YouTube videos and get videos up that you guys can watch. All right, he's only 17. Oh, that would have been a killer if we just caught two keepers. I had a big mohara out there. No sand perch. Oh, big sand perch. Back at the house, guys. You can see we got a lot going on over here. This is alligator skull cooking. You might ask why. There's gonna be a video on that real soon, so stay tuned for that on the channel. And also, don't forget about fish hook and anchor bracelets for the holidays. Sterling silver, fish hook and anchor, all different sizes, paracord colors available, adult and child sizes, as well as sterling silver. So check that out. But we got our cooler here with our fish. Here's our big old mutton we caught. I caught up to Brian from the other day with that beautiful fish he caught. But it was pretty crazy. This is actually the first time that a true miracle catch happened for me because it never happens where I actually catch like a little bait and then I put it back out and I catch a fish. They usually take it from me. Or even for instance, you know, these mutton snapper will puke up crabs and stuff that they just recently ate when you catch them. And a lot of times I'll take that crab and I'll put it right back on a hook, send it out and I never catch a fish. They always steal it from me. So it was a pretty miracle catch to catch one on the live grunt and the second on the dead grunt. Same bait, never happens like that for me. So freaking lucky miracle catch. All right guys, thank you so much. Don't show our dirty garage. Thank you so much for <laughs> You guys can see how messy our house is, but we're always so busy. But anyhow, we really do appreciate y'all watching this video. Stay tuned for epic stone crab videos, alligator skull videos, and a lot of cool stuff coming real soon. Brian hasn't said a single word. I'm mute. <laughs> What, you, don't, you guys don't want me in the way oh when Dawson's God. on a roll, do you? I'm sorry. I'm just yabbing. <laughs> All right, guys. Don't even pretend, I'm not even here. Don't worry. Thank you so much for watching this. As always, we love each and every one of you. Each one. Everything down in the description below. <laughs> and until next time, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.